for the hard sacrifices and tough choices that provincial governments are making right now to make ends meet, like in my home province, where Premier Higgs is making the sacrifices and the necessary decisions to balance the budget and get us in a place where we can actually turn the corner and move towards investing in things like health care and in better infrastructure it would never happen if we didn't have a fiscally responsible provincial government making the tough choices to position us to prosper. That's what we need at the federal level, not just the provincial level. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Thank you, Madam Speaker. There has been some discussion this morning about Dairy Queen uh, because we do know that the Conservative leader did claim at some point to have worked the summer Dairy Queen, and it must be very clear, there is n people who work at Dairy Queen work hard, but we don't know if the member for who lives in Stornoway ever did work hard, uh, whether he got fired, he's never either had a job. And I raise this because he has this bad habit of huffing and puffing and threatening and demanding and then not showing up. So there was nine confidence votes on Monday night. They could have tr said they were going to bring the government down. Not a peep. But right now, he's got his backbenchers all jumping up. They're all punching their chests and saying they're going to bring the government down. My simple question is, will the leader who lives in Stornoway actually show up to cause this $630 million election? Or will he be with Jenny Byrne, the Loblaws lobbyist, having canapes and mojitos tonight at Stornoway because he never shows up and he leaves the poor schleps on the back bench to stand and do the voting night after night? The Honourable Member for Tobik, Machapak. Wow, that's a, that, 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 I, I've never ceased to be amazed by the grand eloquence of speech from the Honourable Member across the way, but I will say this, that as he exits the room after he's dropped his bomb, oh, I, sorry, Madam Speaker, that, that, uh, that what we need to recognize is that this party and this leader has stood on the side of hardworking taxpayers, Canadians, from day one. While they have abandoned the principles and they've walked over and became and formed a coalition that's only heightened the cost of living for Canadians and shut down places of opportunity for employment in the resource sector in his very riding. I think the people of his area as well as across this country are going to choose a Prime Minister who stands on the side of everyday Canadians and wants them to get ahead and have more money to make choices with that they've worked hard for. 